Hey, it's Matt from McGee Farms, and I've done a couple videos on uh, the different sections of the cab for my 3010 mule that I've built, and uh, pretty much have it all done. Still a few little final touches here and there, but uh, now that I've got the whole thing together and ready for winter, thought I'd do a walk around and kind of show you uh, what I did and, uh, and how I did it. Starting out, the first thing I did was the top and windshield. Now this top, I think is from like a John Deere Gator, the kind that have the roll cage. I actually found this on the side of the highway and it sat there for a couple of days. Nobody came to claim it. I guess it uh, blew off. Someone uh, didn't have it strapped down. So I brought it here and uh, modified it so uh, it would work on here. And the windshield, I bought this off of eBay years ago, and it only covered a little bit. I uh, did not realize when I bought it that it was a short one, but I bought some plexiglass and just kind of hooked up into it and made a full windshield. And that's pretty much what we had with it for the first, uh, first couple of years that we lived up here. And, uh, you know, of course, I added a little extra lighting on there to... Uh, make it better to see at night but uh, the second thing I did and I did this about two years ago and that is uh, the back window on it now we've got these jump seats on here which are great in the summer and when it's warm out but uh, uh, plexiglass you know it's not cheap and I was trying to find a way to save a little bit of money and I started running across this HDPE uh, 4x8 sheets are like 80 bucks at Menards. So one sheet basically made a back window for both my side-by-sides by cutting it in half. And uh, one issue that I did have with this by framing it up to hold the plexiglass in there is uh, that the, uh, the bed wouldn't lift up when it was in there. So what I'm going to try this year is I've got it... Uh, uh, not strapped on the bottom, and I've got it coming in the cab. I'm hoping I don't get exhaust in there uh, or road dust. But that way, when I need to, to raise the bed all the way, I've got it held on with zip ties, so I can just basically cut the zip ties. There's six zip ties holding it, so taking them off and putting them back in is uh, pretty simple. Now this year, uh, well, I started last year with uh, building doors, but I... Uh, I got one on our other side by side. I did not get one on the mule last year. And uh, so this year I just finished it and I'm kind of doing some fitting and uh, fine tuning. You can see there's a little bit of uh, some gaps in there, but this is that eight, that four by eight HDPE. And it was a uh, one sheet per side. And I just kind of basically with this one, I cut a frame around and then I put some hinges and uh, have the hinges uh, you know, screwed on afterwards. I took a little touch-up paint and coated them with the touch-up paint. It's got a couple places that it's hanging where it's going in or it's, uh, it's not quite fitting right. And uh, I'm currently working on that, trying to get that lined up. Also, uh, put some handles in here. And to open it, I've got these are, uh, get these off of Amazon. These are uh, for just coolers. They're uh, la replacement latches. I think four of them were 20 bucks or something like that. So, uh, so pretty cheap. And uh, just have those, you take them and uh, give them a good pull. Open it up. I've still got some of the little grit from the HDP. I just mounted this about 20 minutes ago. And I don't have all the uh, all the screws uh, coated up, but also you can, uh, this stuff takes paint pretty easy. So with this, you know, I could do red to match it or whatever color your side-by-side -side is. But uh, once I hop in, I've got those uh, straps on the inside. I can't do that one with one hand. Same here. And what I'm gonna end up doing is I've got, uh, I've got one on the inside now. And as you see, you know, this kind of hangs open. So 
what I ended up with my other side by side is I put a second one down here. I've got to order more of them and that holds that tight. And uh, pretty well keeps it good and uh, good and warm in here in the winter time. You get a little bit of airflow. Uh, just about any side-by-sides that I've seen between the top and the windshield, you always have a gap up here. A pool noodle will uh, pretty much fix that. And uh, I plan on putting a, a small golf, golf cart heater in here as well. So that's my cab. Still uh, doing a little fine-tuning. Oh, the uh, screws. Sometimes it's hard to find screws the right length where they stick out a little more. And uh, basically, once you're done, you get them good and tight and just hit them with a hacksaw is what I've been doing in here. And, uh, and like I said, coat them with a little black paint so uh, it kind of matches up. And you take it for a ride, you find out uh, where it's rattling, and then that's where you want to work on getting some more of these, uh, these little latches in. And, uh, you know, it may take, it's pretty good size area. It may take three of them all together, really, to, uh, to hold it. But I, I had a lot of trial and error with my other side-by-side. -side and uh, eventually got it, and it worked great. So that's my cab. Now, these 30, uh, 10 mules... There's not much in the way of uh, cabs that uh, you can find for these. They've got, I think it's a, called a Curtis cab. It's like a hard metal cab. They're about three, four thousand dollars last time I priced them out, probably higher now. Uh, or there's uh, soft cabs. I've had, uh, had a soft uh, rear windshield for this that I had bought and it was okay. I think I had a soft front windshield too. It, it was okay. It, it worked good. But then over the uh, summertime, when I took it off and stored it, when I went to get it back out, it had cracks all in it. And uh, just after a year, just really didn't hold up. So I figured I'd go this route. All in all, you know, the top I got for free, but everything else, windshield, this little mini windshield, 130 bucks. I think it was 80 to 100 bucks for the uh, rest of the windshield. The uh, doors, it was two sheets and some plexiglass. I probably got about 200, 250 tops uh, in, uh, in those. And uh, back windshield, probably about 50 bucks. So 400 bucks, maybe 500. I did it in steps. But uh, this, you know, this will hold up 10 years, 15 years. I mean, this stuff's not going to break and if you break the uh break the plexiglass that i got in here you know you can just go i think these sheets were 17 bucks or something like that so you can just take the screws out and replace the plexiglass if you have to it's matt from mcgee farms that's a look at my uh, diy cab i did on the 3010 mule if you like the videos please consider subscribing to the channel giving us a thumbs up or leaving us a comment if you got questions it helps the channel grow, and it's always appreciated. Until next time, have a great day.